When the Bruins were rolling off 19 consecutive games without a regulation loss, there was a battle for the steering wheel. Everybody wanted to drive, coming to the arena ready to lead. In this game against Columbus, Bruce Cassidy said to us afterwards, there were some passengers. Well, no question, Jack. And if even if you look at that winning homestand where the Boston Bruins ran the table six straight, the last three, some weaknesses were creeping in, and they had some fantastic finishes, and they were finding ways to win, and that's all great, but you can't ignore some of that stuff yeah. that was creeping in. Now we're seeing it in Pittsburgh and saw it again in Columbus, and I think the two goals that really epitomized that were goals that were scored right at the top of your own blue paint. And, you know, yeah, it's body position, it's stick position, it's layers defensively, it's five men all wanting to do the job, but it really comes down to the work ethic required to defend in the National Hockey League. And the Bruins have had it all season long. They're one of the best defensive teams in the league. But maybe when you go on a lengthy streak like they did, some lazy habits start to come in. And, and maybe you don't want to compete hard enough in order to defend. You want the fun stuff. You want the fantastic finishes. You want the offense. You want the power play, whatever it might be. But you, it all starts in the defensive zone, and it just wasn't there enough in the game against Columbus. The Bruins led 1-0 in this game, and then Columbus scored the next five. And as we all know, the four-goal lead is the hardest to defend in <laughs> hockey, said no one ever.